Steam Series, championed by your Southern California Toyota dealers. And it's time for this week's Steam Series. Our focus today is science and math. That's right, and CBS 2's Jasmine Veal introduces you to a molecular biologist from Duarte who is working to make sure COVID-19 vaccines are safe and effective. Mm -hmm. Stop, we need you. That's the message heard loud and clear last February inside a laboratory conference room at City of Hope. I do remember that being a very, very serious, a little scary. COVID-19 had arrived in the U.S. and Dr. Heidi Contreras is a vaccine researcher. Her take on bacteria and viruses. This is going to sound very strange, but the more difficult they are, the more I'm attracted to them. Heidi started out here working on a vaccine against a virus that impacts cancer and organ transplant patients. Now that same platform is being tested against COVID-19. It uses a viral vectored platform using vaccinia virus. We know that it's safe. We know that it helps mount or induce an immune response. It will behoove us to compare it also with what's already available. Of all the STEAM disciplines, vaccine research relies most on science and math. Heidi didn't always think she'd wind up here. I was told I was not good at science or math. But a 10th grade experience led her to doubt that negative assumption, first in biology, then in chemistry. I just remember being able to just mark off the units and being able to come up with the solution and then just being able to visualize how protons and electrons and neutrons just operated in space. It was so exciting because while people were having such difficulties trying to conceptualize, I could just see it. That high school success fueled a passion for science. This daughter of immigrants from Mexico went on to get her doctorate in molecular biology and biochemistry. I'm the first scientist. I'm the first PhD in the family. A point of pride, but also sometimes a challenge. I still to this day struggle with um, imposter syndrome. Like I don't belong here. A sentiment sometimes shared with other women of color in science. So what we've been working with is trying to remember where we are, why we're here, and the grit that it took to get here. I get really emotional about these things because we worked so hard in, um, in an area where we were told growing up that we just weren't going to succeed and it didn't belong to us. City of Hope's COVID-19 vaccine was administered to its first patient last month, if and when it proves effective and... It's available to everybody. I'm hoping that I can step back alongside my colleagues and be like, yeah, we did that and it's working and it's protecting people. Heidi's advice to girls coming up, no matter how you struggle. Don't give up on yourself. I thought I wanted to be a fashion designer or, or an architect. While I gave up, on pursuing that, I didn't give up on myself. I just kept going and I eventually found my need. And for more on STEAM careers, go to cbsla.com slash STEAM. And Pat, just so much technology in the medical field these days. It's amazing. And giving so much yeah. uh, inspiration and hope to others that may not have uh, felt that way before. Yeah. I just love to hear her emotion talking about uh, what's going on there.